Hey guys, Cece back with another video and today's video is probably one of my most favorite videos to film and it is my Sephora VIB sale fall haul. watching me or my channel make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button also make sure you go ahead and click the little notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you can always be notified of all of my future videos because you never want to miss a single upload you also want to make sure you're following me on Instagram at Camellia Yvette and also subscribe to my family vlog channel right here on YouTube at Bradley Party of Six so what's up y'all? Again, this is going to be my Sephora fall haul. I have a number of products sitting here in front of me that I thought I would show you. I went into the store. I also purchased some online and I have a couple more things on the way. So I don't know if it's enough to do a haul. I may just show you guys in another video or on Instagram. So just make sure you're following me there so you can keep up with all that stuff. For those of you who are unaware, I did do Sephora recommendations videos, so I will make sure those are linked in this video so you guys can check them out. The sale is still going on. You guys are going to see this on Sunday the 8th, so the sale is still going on until the 9th, so you have another day and some change to go ahead and get your orders placed so you can get your discount. Beauty Insiders get 10%, VIBs get 15%, and then VIB Rouges get 10 20%. So I got 20% off of my entire purchase. So I'm just going to dive into what I got. So the first thing I got, this was actually on my recommendations or in my recommendations and wishlist video. This is the Herbivore Coconut Coconut Milk Body Polish. And this is actually larger than I thought it was, which is great because this thing was um, $36 regular price. And then of course I got the 20% off. Oh, it's a nice glass bottle very classy okay this is gonna look so cute in my shower but um, this is what it is like I said it's a body polish so basically a body exfoliator I have been so into body scrubs and body exfoliators lately just because winter time is coming along so it helps keep your skin nice and soft and supple my skin gets a little drier in the winter time like most of you probably so scrubs have been really helped just keeping them nice and soft then I saw a gift set from that brand as well. This is by, again, Herbivore, and this is the Exfoliate and Glow Head to Toe Self Care Trio. And this comes with the, okay, so two body polishes. It comes with the Coconut Oil Body Polish, the Crushed Amethyst Exfoliating Body Polish, and then it comes with the Prism, what kind of polish is that? Prism Exfoliating Glow Facial is what it is. So let's pull these out of the package. Uh-oh, is something leaking? Is this leaking? Maybe not, okay. So this is what, this is the Prism Glow Facial. Huh, it's like crystal clear. And then we have the two body polishes here. Oh, these are gorgeous colors. So they're just smaller versions of the coconut one that I just showed you. How gorgeous are these? I'm so excited to use these. All right, so next, not that I needed any more skincare, I picked up a cleanser. This is the Tatcha The Rice Wash Soft Cream Cleanser. I've been wanting to try this since they came out with it, so I thought now was the perfect time. And I do really like Tatcha skincare. I've been using them probably for close to two years now, on and off different products, and so I love their skincare. I love the one in the green. That one's the one that's more for oily skin. The purple um, packaging is more for or like combo to oily skin but in the winter time again I like to give my skin a little more hydration including my face so I did pick up the rice wash right here and this stuff has great reviews on Sephora's website I got another Tatcha product this is the Tatcha water cream and this is the green packaging I was talking about so I had this I think twice before and I've used up two of these but this is just a little small version of the water cream moisturizer one of my favorite moisturizers ever I will be purchasing another full size as soon as I get through some of the skincare that I have in my possession right now because your girl's got a lot 
but um, this here is one of my favorite moisturizers ever. It's so hydrating, but like super lightweight. One of the best moisturizers I've ever used to put underneath my makeup because again, it hydrates my skin, leaves it really nice and soft. However, it doesn't feel like a heavy layer of under the makeup. All right, so I have one more non-makeup item, and it is this right here. I always try to get a fragrance during the Sephora sale because fragrances are so incredibly expensive, as is skincare. So I always try to go those routes when the sale comes around, and this is the Sephora Favorites Deluxe Perfume Sampler. First of all, around the holidays, you can always find great gift sets at Sephora. This one was $32, and you get a sample of four amazing perfumes. So there is one, the Sunkiss Hibiscus by Nest. There is the Clean Classic, the Amazing Grace, and then one by Toka. I think that's how you say that. So I love the clean fragrances. I've been talking about them for a couple of months now. And so to get that along with, I, I've never tried a Nest fragrance. So I have been wanting to try a Nest fragrance and then the Amazing Grace by Philosophy and then the Toka fragrance. So for 32 bucks, I figured that was such a great, great deal. Okay, let's move into the makeup. I ended up getting three foundations like I need anymore. One of them I need to take back and get the right color though, and it's the Huda Beauty. This is the Full Filter Skin Finish Stick Foundation. So I got mine in the shade Cinnamon 440G. I don't know why I decided to switch the color. In the liquid foundation, I am Gingerbread, and that's a really, really good color. It's like this much off like you can't even tell I feel like I can tell when I put it on but once I put the rest of my makeup on you literally can't tell so I just on the website this looked like it would be a better color but you can even see it from there it's way too dark for me so I'm gonna have to exchange this for another one but I'm definitely gonna do a review on it so we can see how this compares to the liquid uh, version of the same foundation Maybe we'll do an all Huda, Be all Huda Beauty look in the near future I grabbed the Sephora, this is the, I had this foundation and I gave it away because I had never used it, but it was $5 in the store, plus I got 20% off, so I was like, okay, I'll try it again. It's the Sephora Matte Perfection Foundation in the shade Maple. This is, like I said, the exact foundation I just gave away a few months ago, and I was like, I've never used it, I don't wanna hoard it if I'm not gonna use it. So I gave it to somebody who would use it, however, I repurchased it because it was like four dollars after I got the the discount so I figured why not I'd give it a try and then Sephora has come out with their clean line and so this is the Sephora I think I don't know if you say s clean or just clean line this is the clean glowing skin foundation and I figured if I was gonna try this foundation this time of year is the best time to do it because again I'm oily and a glowing foundation just wouldn't work for me in the summertime so I picked up the shade number 23 and this says it's a clean glowing skin foundation enriched with matcha tea and vitamin C hydrates and vitamin C hydrates the skin, leaving a radiant finish and a light buildable coverage. So this is gonna be on maybe those really light makeup days, like those no makeup makeup days. You can throw something like this on and go out the door, which I've been doing more of lately, okay? So I also picked up another sale item out of the store. This is the Sephora Lip Stories lipstick. This one's in the shade Undisturbed, and it is a super deep, dark, brown shade which of course this time of year like we oh it's like a is it brown or purple i can't tell if that's like brown or purple i think it's a little bit of both like brown with a purple undertone but these lipsticks are perfection and they're only eight dollars regular price this one was actually on clearance for five dollars but they're only eight dollars regular price it's the sephora brand they are per Perfection. They sit on the lips so nicely. They have a nice little staying power to them. They have different finishes that they come in. So many different colors. I would definitely recommend the Sephora Lip Stories lipsticks. So I also got some new new to Sephora. These are the Makeup by Mario Quads. This is Bronze Glam. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty. This one is in Bronzy Glam. I cannot wait to use her let's do a swap oh 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 that matte was nice and soft it wasn't chalky not a lot of kickback oh oh those are pretty 
I like those. Okay, so that's Bronzy Glam. And then this one is called Rosy Glam. So it has a little more of those like rosy tones in it. Let's do a swatch of this one. We'll do the brown and the deep purple. <laughs> She's gorgeous. Those are so pretty. I, I knew this whole line was gonna be perfection. Like if you're into a lot of the products that he put out, I just knew this whole line was gonna be perfection. I mean, Mario, he, I'm saying it like I know him, but he's an amazing makeup artist. I've been following his work for a long time. And I mean, I just knew, I knew these shadows were going to be great. I cannot wait to do some tutorials with these. I think I'm going to try to get some Instagram tutorials out. Y'all, we're getting settled into this house. And so I'm, I'm finding myself having more and more time because we're unpacking more and more things. So whatever you guys want to see, please make sure you're leaving them down below so I can get those out for you. And that's Instagram content. That is um, YouTube content, whatever you guys want to see. Last but not least, I'm a sucker for these little Pat McGrath trios. So this one here is the Pat McGrath Labs Flesh 5 Astral Lip Trio. And so it comes in this little cute little package and then you get the lipstick, the, this is the lip, what is this? Bronze Astral Vinyl Lip Gloss is what it is. And then you get the lip liner. So who's ever really went through a full thing of lipstick? You know what I'm saying? Like I rarely go through a full thing of lip product. So having minis is great. The only thing I don't like about her lipsticks is that all the packaging is black and you don't know what's in it until you open them all up and then you're able to see. But they have the most amazing velvety texture. They're just so pretty. Let's Oh, that's gorgeous. I mean, literally, it is the most amazing velvet texture in a lipstick that you will try. I mean, it definitely feels luxury on the lips. And then, of course, it comes with the sparkly lip gloss as well as a lip liner. Oh, so pretty. But that is it, you guys. Those are all the products that I picked up during the Sephora VIB Fall Sale. Again, there may be another video coming, so just hold your horses. We'll see what happens when I get back on this website to order my stuff and run in the store and exchange this foundation. So stay tuned for that. But if you guys like these types of videos, make sure you don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really, really helps me out. I appreciate all your love, all your support. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.